So today I wanna to talk a little bit about Intel's upcoming Coffee Lake processors. Uh, we've seen a lot of rumors and leaks, and I believe later on today, we're actually gonna to get to see um, actually from Intel what Coffee Lake has to offer. So a leaked slide from Intel actually shows us a lot of what we've already heard in those rumors and leaks with the core counts and thread counts of the mainstream Intel processors being shaken up quite a bit when they uh, come to the Coffee Lake processors versus the Skylake or more recently the Kaby Lake processors. So the source I'm using here is extremetech.com and you can find these slides elsewhere around the internet. But we're looking specifically at uh, this slide that seems to compare Intel's seventh generation uh, processors on the left to their upcoming Coffee Lake processors on the right. Now you'll notice, and it's difficult to see with uh, this image with the clarity of it, I'll zoom in a little bit more here, but on the left side we have our Core i7s here, and then on the right side we have the uh, Core i7s for the Coffee Lake. But you'll notice that we do see 6C 12T, which presumably is going to be obviously 6 core 12 thread processors. Looks like a 95 watt TDP there. And it also looks like there's a locked skew of the i7 at 65 watts. But down the middle, we have what I assume are single thread improvements on the left versus the multi-thread improvements on the right, at least that's the way I'm interpreting this. So if this is correct, then the k skew will gain 11%, uh, the Coffee Lake ones will gain 11% over the KB Lake skews um, that are equivalent, even though obviously their core counts have changed. And we see a 51% increase in the multi-threaded performance, which would obviously come from those two extra cores and four extra threads there. Now, as you move down the stack, then we see that there's an 18% gain, presumably against single core uh, for the lock skew of the i7. Then the unlocked K skew of the i5 would be 19%, 29% for the lock skew. And then the i3s have a 17 and 16% gains on the two skews that they're showcasing here. Interestingly enough, by the way, uh, the i3 processor, it looks like they will have another unlock SKU this time around. It'll be very interesting to see if that one offers better performance uh, per dollar than the 7350K did, which was hammered by reviewers as being sort of a worthless chip because it was just frankly too expensive for a dual core processor. Now as a tech enthusiast that doesn't necessarily um, just go all in for one company over another, talking about AMD and Intel here, I love this because on a mainstream platform we're going to be able to get six Intel cores with 12 Intel threads and we already know that Intel performs quite a bit better than Ryzen does in the gaming sector. So being able to have these stronger single threaded performance uh, chips that still do give us a lot of cores and and threads to work with as well is gonna be great for uh, not just prosumers but as I always like to talk about streamers that uh, want to stream and game on the same PC whereas the uh, 7700k sort of limited what games you could be doing that um, with where uh, Ryzen by the way the especially the 8 core 16 thread processors would handle that just no problem now the 6 core 12 thread processors will probably be able to game and stream on the same system just fine almost regardless of what game you're actually playing and provided that we don't see price hikes for each of the respective i7, i5, and i3 lines, provided that we're actually just seeing core bumps and thread count bumps and not price hikes, then this actually does give you quite a bit more value for the same cost. I'm really excited about the multi-threaded improvement on the mainstream side of things for Intel here. Now, I don't believe, however, that Coffee Lake is going to make Ryzen completely obsolete, especially the R5s and the uh, R7s are still gonna be really good values. Uh, the 1600 at uh, $220 ish um, may see a little bit of a price drop and same thing for the R7s, may see a little bit more of a price drop to get a little bit more competitive, especially with these uh, i7s and i5s having more cores and more threads. But the one sort of line from AMD that will have a bit of a trouble uh, staying relevant will be the R3 processors because they are true quad cores but if we're seeing i3s that are also true quad cores they give us quite a bit better performance and they really should by the way then the R3 line has no choice but to drop in price otherwise I, I just can't imagine buying an R3 over an i3 if they both have four cores and four threads especially because Ryzen can't really get above that four gigahertz mark 
mark anyways. And now before I completely wrap this up, I do want to point out that the i7-7740X as well as the 7640X, uh, which are already completely dumb chips to begin with on the X299 platform, will now make even less sense and be even more cost ineffective, uh, really raising the question why Intel ever had these things out in the first place, especially because they knew what Coffee Lake was going to be able to offer, or at least they had some idea of what their SKUs were going to be for Coffee Lake when they were releasing these chips. So I honestly have no clue what Intel was thinking with these two chips, and they are just as dumb today as they were yesterday, and it looks like tomorrow they'll be even dumber. So um, if these are chips you were looking at for some reason and you just hadn't done your research yet, um, please look into them more as far as uh, looking at reasons why not to get them. But uh, 7640X and the 7740X, uh, just terrible chips and terrible SKUs for their platforms. I'm not saying the entire X299 chipset um, and platform that goes with it are terrible. I'm just saying that those two SKUs mean even less now um, if Intel confirms that we're seeing uh, 6 core 12 thread i7s on the mainstream platform, these chips mean even less now and make even less sense uh, moving forward. So this video was actually about as much uh, me finding out what you guys think as it was me giving you my thoughts on the uh, upcoming Coffee Lake processors. So let me know in those comments down below what you think of the slide giving us a little bit more details about Coffee Lake moving forward. Not just the single thread performance gains, but obviously the multi-threaded performance gains um, in the i7, i5, and i3 mainstream lineups. So let me know your thoughts on those in the comments down below. If you like this video, give me a like, share, subscribe, and comment down below all those things are very helpful to me and the channel of course you can follow me on instagram and on twitter at hoosier hardware they are the same tag for your convenience and as always we'll let youtube queue up a couple more videos around me uh, for you to watch i'm shane with hoosier hardware and i'll see you guys in the next video